Caleb Nicholson says he got a call from a friend about a toddler disappearing in the creek. A father himself, he rushed over to help and look after police called off the search last night. And Nicholson, like everyone else involved, wishes that there had been a different outcome. The sound of the creek and the sight of sadness. To find a two-year-old kid in the water, not knowing if he's going to make it or not, it's one of the worst feelings ever. Caleb Nicholson still has a pit in his stomach after what he witnessed early Sunday morning. It's, it's one of the worst things that you could possibly imagine. Police say the mother of two-year-old William Roberts took her eyes off her son for a couple minutes Saturday afternoon, and the toddler disappeared in this creek. News spread quickly, calling on divers, canines, and strangers like Nicholson to look for him. No matter where you turn, there was a light, a razor, a four-wheeler. Police called off the search once the sun set, but Nicholson and more than 200 volunteers stayed, searching miles away from the property where Roberts went missing. But something told Nicholson to come back. I had an unsettling feeling in my stomach that I was standing on top of it. So using rope as a harness, Nicholson began to go through this debris and spotted Robert's body under a tree. And then I jumped in the water, grabbed him, they drug me back, and I handed the boy up. There was no heartbeat. But the community is still calling Nicholson a hero. I wouldn't be able to do it again at all. The community has set up a GoFundMe to assist the family with funeral arrangements. If you'd like to help, we have that information on wave3.com. Jobina Fordson, Wave 3 News.